Good morning, everybody. My name is Alyssa Cooper. This is Cooking in Quarantine, Back Pain Edition. So when you can't get in and out of the bed, you have to make some accommodations for life. So anyway, um, I had such a rough night last night that I can't seem to figure out how the camera works anymore. Let's see if that's any better. So anyway, I got up this morning and I thought, it's cold. And the last thing that I want to have to do is leave my house this morning. Um, and so I thought, what can I do to not have to leave my house? And then I started looking around and I realized there could be some jars of stuff in there that have been there since it was cold again, cold before, and that I probably needed to um, clean out the fridge. So I know that this is supposed to be soups and such and holiday feasts month, but I had four of these little tiny potatoes, sweet potatoes left over from Thanksgiving. So I have boiled them and I thought, you know what, I have this, let's get the, let's get the R2 unit coming this way. Um, yeah, see, I'm all messed up. I can't even get to where you can see what's going on here. I don't know what my problem is this morning. You think that this wouldn't be the 124th one of these things that I've done. So let's see if I can do better if I do it this way. Gonna try this a little differently and see what happens. I have this cool little Joby tripod, which is so forgiving, but this morning it was just like ugh, I couldn't figure it out. Okay, let's see what happens here. All right, this needs to come forward, 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 <gasps> almost. I think. I finally have a secure base. Hmm. Uh, Eric Erickson, I believe that's co correct, a secure base? Or is that somebody else? I read that in psychology school, a secure base. It's what children need to feel secure in life. Yeah, I think we can come a little bit this way because I need the extra space. And excellent. All right, let's try this again. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon, my name is Alyssa Cooper and this is Cooking in Quarantine. I did something yesterday, I literally, I was in so much pain, I couldn't catch my breath. When I finally managed to get in bed last night and realized I needed to get back out, I said, oh, this was too much work, so I slept on the couch. I never sleep on the couch. So anyway, um, when I got up this morning and I didn't want to leave the house, I thought, what can I do? And I said, what I should do is kind of clean out the fridge. I've got these cute little tiny sweet potatoes. I have five or six little Yukon Golds cooking with a big fat clove of garlic and some pretty salty water. I thought I might use this lemon and zest over cubed sweet potatoes and make a little lemony dressing. Here, let's give that lemon a rinse since it still had its tag on. It might possibly have never been washed. So those are gonna go together. That's part of the cleaning out the fridge thing. So I think that, uh, no, I think that I know that my physical therapist asked me to eat some beets. We'll not discuss why, but I bought these little beets last night. And so I thought maybe this same citrus dressing that I was going to use uh, on my sweet potatoes might also go nicely on a beet, red onion, butter lettuce, see how I'm cleaning out the fridge, um, uh, with then a little great Arrigiano Parmesan to make that sort of classic beet red onion. Normally you would put, I think, goat cheese or blue cheese, but I'm trying to clean out the fridge, which you will understand more in a few minutes. Um, I've got a couple of little things here to make some dressing in if I get that far. I've got just a little bit of honey, so I'll make 
all of them with some nice honey base. And I have a little bit, actually I have one that is going in the freezer so that my cranberry sauce from Thanksgiving will still be ready for Christmas. So I'm putting one in the freezer. This one I think I'm gonna burr completely. And, hello Jennifer. Um, and then run it through a mesh sieve and use it like as a cocktail base. I think that will be fun in the next few days. So that's what's going on here. And then, now I've gotten far enough along, I can show you the horror. I'm just going to be completely, we're going up front today. So let's see. I have in here things like, things that I can't identify. Look, I think that this might be like butter chicken sauce or some kind of something like that. Who knows? That's got to go. Um, let's see. What else is in here that's probably humiliating to me? Um, well, first of all, this is the basil oil that let me know that my refrigerator stopped working in the summer. That's got to go. Let's see. What else is in here that can go? Oh, it's not as humiliating as I thought. I think these little limes from the Indian place, I think they're good forever, so they can stay. And, oh, here's a couple of things. Let's see. Now, this is okay. This is Chipotle that I stored properly. I get to keep that. This is a pesto. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I made pesto. So I'm feeling better about myself. See, I can start to clear these things out and all of that. So that's something that everybody needs to do. And just like, I don't know, maybe a lot of you probably have big walk-in closets and you kind of move from this area in the spring, summer, fall, and winter. But in my little apartment, I have, um, I have a dressing room where all of my current season clothes hang along with where I do my face and hair and stuff because my bathroom is small and if somebody else needs to get in there so you need to get out right um and then uh so then i have another closet area where everything where all the coats of all seasons all of the decorations all of the changes of pillow covers and bedding and they all have to get stuffed into this one place so it's a really big deal to have to make that shift for me. Um, and so I've almost gotten it done. I still have shoes. And hello, Denise. If I could bend over, I would be happy to do the shoes. I'm just afraid that if I got down on a low enough stool to do the shoes, that I might not ever get up. Like last night, pulling my, my left leg out by using my right leg. So anyway, that's just what I'm going to do. And I kind of have this feeling like I would really like to kind of keep it light. And so just a little sweet potato. I've got, of course, I've always got this big larder down here that has nuts and, uh, and uh, croutons and um, all kinds of little things, at rice. And usually there's... Uh, some kind of quinoa or uh, couscous. I love couscous, which is such a super simple, wonderful, easy side. And that just has inspired me that depending on how things go and if I can bend over tomorrow or not, uh, maybe what we'll do is make a really awesome salad from my past that I love that you do um, a curried couscous with dried fruit and toasted nuts and uh, poached chicken. I probably will not poach my chicken, or maybe I will, you never know, uh, as a base to a salad that is just one of the most wonderful things. So that might be on, because I might need to just take a little break from soup making, because it's hard to make a little bit of soup. Um, so anyway, that's my kind of my story for today, guys. I'm sorry I'm not really cooking or putting anything together because, I mean, I can't bend over. Um, my friend Kelly says that I should 
call the physical therapist and tell her that just because I am a cooper and can manage to uh, just, you know, suck it up and walk off the pain doesn't mean that that is what humans were meant to do. Um, but you'll have to take that up with my dad, whose advice for almost everything was walk it off or figure it out, which means I now can walk off and figure out almost everything. Um, so that said, I guess I could make, get a little lemon dressing started, although I kind of need something with a bigger head if I would like to use this. Hmm. hmm. I can do this in a different thing. Anyway, see guys, I'm really not thinking clearly. Um, when I have to take pharma, a pharmaceutical to go to sleep, I'm never gonna be completely 100% on day two. That's just my thing. So anyway, this seems to be becoming a little confessional. <laughs> Maybe I should stop before I tell something that I shouldn't tell. Oh my goodness, somebody probably stopped calling me because they realized it was the 12 o'clock half hour. So anyway, guys, do what you need to do. I am pretty confident that my pain is because my body is compensating for weird things that I've done for decades. And I really am so much better than I was yesterday. I can't even express. So no worries. Just, you know, send out good thoughts to uh, the universe. See, I forgot to turn the overhead lights on. That's where I am today. But it was a nice sunny morning earlier today. So anyway, for those of you who have snow, have a snow day. For those of you who have sun, take a walk outside. Um, for all of you, eat healthfully, keep positive, and do something kind for yourself and somebody else. That's all. Thanks a million. See, I leaned forward in the wrong way. Have a great day, guys. Ciao. Hello, Michael. Mick, how are you, love? Oh, you all, thank you. Thank you for coming. Ciao.